Yo, what's up everybody, Fortitron here, and today we are back again with our Dark Souls 3 Easy Mode Beginner's Guide. Previous episode, we went Dungeon, and then built Yorm Giant, and we fucked this in there as well. And now we went, that's brought us back to Lothric, and we're gonna go from there and then do it. Okay, so this is actually gonna take us into our very next boss fight. So what we're gonna do is let's put on um, Karthus Root. And I'm feeling okay with where we're at with the amount of essence flasks that we have. Um, but we've save scummed and like you can just run down to Vort's uh, bonfire if you want. You know what? Let's do that. Let's, let's play it safe. Oh my god, you're stuck. Love this game. <laughs> You play through it hundreds of times, you still just get mean. Also, we have our soul, so I kinda wanna use those. So let's travel back to fire. And Yorm's soul doesn't really give us it. Yeah, you can get his huge cleaver or his shield. No, no. Neither of which will let's pop. Another thing too, I've been doing this like a jabroni, but you can go to the lady here and you can sell item and then she'll give you the same amount for the souls and you don't have to wait for that stupid enemy. Let's also give her that ash. I think that allows us to buy uh, unlimited gold pine resin. Ashen one. Yeah, quite a bit. Well, Let's level up. Very Want one more vigor, and then oh, how many decks? Can we Four. Okay. Take it. Farewell, Ashen. Then we can also buy. Let's buy one more Karthus Rouge and then 10 gold pine resin. Ashen one. All right, sick. So now we're gonna warp all the way back to Vort's bonfire. And then way back up. So this next boss, I'll spend it while going up there. Uh, can be very punishing if you are impatient and greedy. So the trick is to not be greedy. Let's just put that right here. So the trick is to not be impatient and greedy. We're just gonna get one, maybe two hits, and then be ready to roll. Like just roll out of it. So that's gonna be our plan. So I want to look up, okay, so the Karthus Rouge is actually not the best bet because she's immune to it. So we're going to put on our human pine resin because that applies dark to our weapon. If I look on the wiki, she's weak to dark. Okay, so we're going to, I would save scum right here. Okay, sorry, I'm like delaying this by quite a bit. Yeah, we're gonna run up to this NPC. She's dying. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Let's put on Tell the pine resin. What he must be a lord. Okay, and then I think there we go. That'll trigger cutscene. Now we got the dancer. Just hug her butt. Like stuck on something. Going against my own rules. I'm getting greedy. Okay, she'll go into phase two soon. She's gonna do a spin to win combo.
dunked on. <laughs> that was a messy fight, but we still dunked on her. Nice. Over 100k for that. All right. Stuff. Light this bonfire. Go back to Firelink, spend those souls. Yeah, we're pretty much just trading with her at the end. <laughs> like, not losing. Incredible. And again, I don't feel like her soul goes. Yeah, it gives us soothing sunlight, which we're never gonna need. No, no. Level up. Nice, got 49 decks. Farewell, Ashen want me. So I want to get to 60 decks. I want to get Vigor up enough so we have, I think we have enough H amount of Vigor that we have, but we can always pump more into Vigor. But then eventually I want to start leveling Faith and I want to get Faith to 18, 18 or 19. And the reason why is because that's the amount of Faith that's required to use a weapon art of a weapon that'll give us a buff for our attack power that we can use before a boss fight. So that'll just really make us super open. Um, cool. Look at that. Um, that money. Oh, let's go give that thing to what's his face. Back my home. This is um, like, oh my god. <laughs> Hidden body is sweet, but we need 15 intelligence. So that would mean four more points into that. Um, shit, it might be worth it though. Come again. Five of those. I'm gonna pine play later on, but I'll still buy all three. Or G. Now let's get some more homework bones. Ashen one. Okay. Before we go any further, just real quick, let's grab another end. So we're gonna go back to the dungeon. And we open up all the short pets. So go for homework. Run. Turn run, run. Turn left. Through the doorway, we're gonna drop down. Go this way instead. We open up that door earlier. Elevator back up. Have good manners and send it back up. Okay, so we're not doing this quite yet. But we are gonna get an a here. I think they're right over here. But we can't go up that way. Run, 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 run! up put your game out okay once you're loaded back in mm, talk to Carla hmm. you're here to put a fist. 
Oh, now should be back a firelink shrine. Go back to shrine bonfire. That was crazy. I could hear the rats. <laughs> now she's kicking it down here. Ah, oh, as I know, the only old that you're so big then. Oh. And we can give her. And <laughs> very, I would be so. And she'll teach you dark sword. Do stay. Now we got a full house. Oh, hey, man. We got everybody here. That dude that died. Cracked enough darks a lot of them. That's fine. Um, cool. So now you got everybody at Firelink Shrine. That's something that you can do. Um, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna travel oh, back to Lothric Castle, and we're gonna go back to the Dancers Bonfire. Hey, okay, and then now they're here. We're gonna interact with the statue. Super abstract way <laughs> to make a ladder come down. I love it. So we can progress forward, but we're actually going to go left over here. Get this little item. It, you can run past this guy, but it's just, it's just better to just like to kill him. I was hoping I could roll into that all fancy. Drops a large height things. Elevator town. We're gonna roll midway through. Here. Over here, there's another S slash shard. And in this area, there's a boss that we can fight. But there's also a shit ton of Titanite chunks. Kind of keep your distance and run all the way on the left over here. Titanite chunk. Drop down. Drop down. Bring this Titanite chunk. I feel like this just uh mine resin. I feel like all that shit in there is just like an armor that's run over here. Catch this elevator up. Any of those did we grow? I'm pretty sure we need four to upgrade. Be a bunch of fucking thralls. Okay, this is another titanite chunk. Door. Boom, we're back here. Author Castle, okay. So we're gonna go straight. Eight. Run up here. Turn immediately left. Run back over here. Hang out. I'm gonna wait for these Lothric Knights behind me to walk by. Alright, sick. Run, 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 run.
over here, grab this bonfire. Down. Then back over here, there's a shortcut. Back to where we started. Turn around over here. Turn left. Grab this item here. And a chunk. Bait these dudes down. That's kinda why I didn't want to catch a fucking arrow to the face. Let's see if we, do we have any alerts? We do. Stick. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're gonna try to get as many dudes as possibly can. They do throw uh, charms at you and then you won't be able to heal. They hop that shit at you. Okay, murdered. Um, there's more of these dudes down here. So once you go down here, you're like, ooh, shiny, and a bunch of dudes come up in it. Smarter than that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's try to debate some of these dudes down here. Catch a fucking arrow right in the face. The dude up top hucking those charms at you. More big dudes. See, there's this big dude. I'm gonna get him to chase me all over here. Got a bit more room. Fuck your house, bitch. Okay. There's a big, another big skelly dude up there. Don't go in that room either, just FYI. <laughs> Back down here. I think there's more dudes that will climb up. Okay, no, all right. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so now we got all the Titanite chunks that are right here. Let's fucking debate that dude. Come follow us over here to where the bonfire is. Fuck him up. Bitch. I kind of wanted to pick up that item, but that's fine. Okay, now we're gonna do some more uh, super hot gamer girl shit. We are gonna put on spook. Right about here. And then we're gonna run to this armor set. And if you just run into it, you can run over top of it without triggering the event that happened. So we're gonna go over here. Grab this Titanite chunk, drop down, kill this guy. Pick up this 
titanite chunk. Pick up titanite chunk. Run away. That we're never gonna use. And then we can use the homeward bone. That I had my hot bar already. And then bonfire less rested up. All right, have those equipped again. Uh, book again. I don't think we need spook because we're actually gonna run across the bridge, and then drop down on this side, roll over, and then bomb try. And then we're gonna go to try and bomb All right, cool. I think we should have enough to fully upgrade our cell sword twin. What? Weapon. Yeah, perfect. Pretty beaker. Fully upgraded cell sword twin blade. Rush now. Alluring uh. dolls are viable. Good. Fashion one. Kinda wish we had patches here. Because he sells alert. Might be up top. But we checked last time when he wasn't here. We have to buy this stupid yap. I wonder if he's still at um, Apple. Basically, if we get enough money to buy this $20,000 ring off of this merchant, it's this this one right here. Ashen we'll get the key to the outside tower, and that's how we'll get patches here. All right. Oh, and we also have our Esther Shard and our bone dust did what neat pretty me Just have enough. Nice. We totally just have enough. That was lucky. I didn't even plan that. Okay. <laughs> Let's buy that stupidly expensive key. Ashen. We're gonna go up. Up. Or the game to load the outside assets. Oh. Power key up top here. Oh, oh jumped off the edge. I thought. If you drop down here, kick down the ladder that gets you up top here. Um, and also, what's hilarious is this, this Titanite Lizard, uh, you can chuck a bomb from like a very specific angle right from the other side, like where you normally can go by that tree, and you can hit that Titanite Lizard. Ridiculous, that people figured out the exact angle that you need to be able to hit that Titanite Lizard. Hilarious. Up. All right, and I want you to pay attention, listen while we go up this elevator. There we 
we go. We just heard a door close. Go up top here. Firekeeper soul. Can you remember what you what you can do with Firekeeper Soul? Soul of Firekeeper who returned from the abyss. Alright, now we're gonna take it down. Look who's there. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Beats. <laughs> By strip. But he doesn't know that we have spook. So I would save scum here if I were you, uh, if you don't lose uh, your items, but we can just basically roll off the edge here. That outfit. Drop down here, boom. That's this room that we're never Fun fact, if you progress um, that blind lady's quest line, she ends up in here as another fire keeper. But we're not gonna be. I think you have to like give her all of the the miracle tomes and then also like learn all the miracles from her. And progress her. Now we can go back up and be like, hey, what the fuck, Patches? Yep. Ah. I would just choose forgive him. Oh. <laughs> because like I said, he sells Alluring Skulls, which are super handy. He also sells Rusted Coins, which also uh, temporarily improve your item discovery. Super handy. He's got a lot of good stuff. All right, cool. That's a good place to end it. So we did a lot this episode. So uh, we went back to Lothar Castle. We took on uh, Dancer of the Boreal Valley, uh, which is a difficult boss for many, but we kind of just memed her. And then we went through some of the areas in Upper Lothric to collect all of the Titanite chunks that we needed to be able to upgrade our weapon to plus 10. And we got patches back at Firelink Shrine. So we're just ready to crush through the rest. We'll see you in the next one. Ooh.